I welcome all of you to my class. I am Farhad Hussain, Assistant Teacher of Mathematics, Rajapur Cantonment Public School and College. Today I am going to take a class of class 5 English version. Uh, this is my first class uh, with uh, all of you. I will continue my class following our last class in the school. So, uh, hope uh, all of you will enjoy the class. Uh, before starting the class, uh, I am requesting all of you to uh, get ready with your notebook and text. We have completed up to number 4 from exercise 6b. So, uh, today I will start from uh, number 5. Uh, so, uh, let's start. Here, uh, in the question number 1, uh, we have a problem. That is uh, 6 by 7 division 2. Uh, follow me. Uh, to solve this problem, uh, we have to convert these. Uh, we can do it easily by converting these two into its reciprocal. So uh, here, uh, 2. Uh, to reciprocal of 2 is uh, we have 2 uh, that is uh, uh, we can convert this into its reciprocal if we convert this uh, then we have 1 by 2 so here we have 6 by 7 and here uh, reciprocal of 2 that is inverse of 2 inverse of 2 is 1 by 2 now you have to change the sign, you have to change division into multiplication. Now just uh, uh, divide 6 and 2, that is we can divide uh, by same number, uh, that is 2, we can divide 6 here, if we divide 6 uh, by 2 that is uh, then we have 3 and if we divide 3 uh, sorry, if we, if we divide 2 by 2, then we have 1. Uh, now we are out of multiplication. Uh, so, uh, you have to uh, multiply the top numbers and you have to, uh, if uh, then we have uh, 3 times 1, that is 3 and 7 times 1, that is 7. So, that is the answer. Now, you have similar types of problem uh, in your book uh, from uh, number 1 to number 4. That will be your home task. Uh, you will practice uh, uh, from number 2 to 4. And your home task will be from number 2 to 4. Uh, so, let's try another problem. That is number 40. Uh, look at the problem. Look. Uh, here we have 8 as whole number uh, we already know that uh, every whole number has denominator 1 so we can convert this uh, we can write this rewrite this as uh, 8 by 1 now if we change division into multiplication then we have to uh, rewrite this fraction as its reciprocal. So, uh, what is the reciprocal of this fraction? That is 7 by 6. Now, divide 8 and 6, both number by 2. Then we have, if we divide 8 by 2, that is 4. And if we divide 6 by uh, 2, then we have 3. So, here uh, we have to multiply 4 and 7, then the result is 28, and here 1 and 3, the result is 3. Uh, look at this fraction. This one is an improper fraction. So, we have to convert, we, are, uh, we have to convert this into mixed fraction. If we, want, if we want to convert this 
into this fraction we have to divide uh, 28 by 3 28 by 3 then we have so here uh, 9 all 1 by 3 that is the answer uh, you have similar types of problem uh, in your textbook book that is on exercise 6b page number 63 uh, that is number 30 so this one also will be your home task number 30 uh, now we will try another problem look at this problem uh, here both fractions are in the form of mixed fraction so at first we have to convert uh, these two mixed fraction into improper fraction so uh, if we convert this into the uh, improper fraction then we have two times four that is eight and uh, add 1 that is 9 and then 4 divide look at this both fractions are same so uh, we also have this uh, res uh, we also have this one uh, same as first one that is 9 by 4 now 9 by 4 and uh, change this one into its reciprocal that is 4 by 9 and change the division into multiplication so we have what we have 9 and 9 then we can divide both number by 9 then we have 1 here also we have 1 same case for this uh, 4 and 4 if we divide both number by 4 then we have 1 so here we have 1 by 1 that is 1 that is the answer okay now uh, all of you will uh, practice at your home uh, from I think uh, all of you all I think all of you should practice from number 1 to 5, uh, that is 1 to 16. So, your home task will be question 5 from number 1 to 16. Let's try uh, another problem that is number six of your uh, uh, from page number sixty four of your textbook. Uh, just uh, read out the question. Uh, here, if you cut six full six hole two by five meter of a string into four by five meter sections. How many pieces it will be? Uh, suppose you have a string of uh, length uh, that is uh, 6 hole 2 by 5 meter. The total length, the total length of the string is uh, 6 hole 2 by 5 meter. And you have to cut this string into some pieces. And each pieces uh, will be uh, the length of each pieces will be 4 by 5 meter then how many pieces you can <coughs> cut the string I hope uh, you have uh, all of you have understand this uh, math uh, so you have total length uh, total length of the string is six hole two by five meter equals to uh, look at this fraction. Uh, this is a mi uh, mixed fraction. 
So uh, we have to convert this into improper fraction. If we convert this into improper fraction, then we have 6 times 5, that is 30, then add 2 with 30, that is 32. So we have 32, you have to put 32 as numerator, then divided by 5, put 5 as denominator, that is meter. So we have total length of the string is 32 by 5 meter. Now you have to cut this string into pieces. And each piece, uh, uh, each section, that is each piece uh, has the length uh, 4 by 5 meter. So the length of one section string is 4 by 5 meter. Now, so, total number of pieces equals to, we have to divide this fraction divided by this one. So we have 32 by 5 division 4 by 5. So here we have to divide this fraction by this one 32 by 5 into 5 by 4. Now, just divide by same number. Uh, if we divide uh, 5 and 5 by 5, then we have 1. Here we also have 1. Now, we, if we divide 32 by 4 and 4 by 4, then we have, uh, if we divide 4 by 4, then we have 1. And if we divide 34, uh, 32 by 4, then we have 8. So here, we have 8 into 1, that is 8, and 1 into 1, that is 1. So here, uh, if any uh, number uh, who has denominator 1, then we can uh, count this as a whole number, that is as an integer, as an integer. So it equals to 8, you can write, so we can write. 8 by 1 equals to 8. That is total number of pieces is 8. That is the answer. Now uh, let's do another math. Here number 7. Uh, look at the question first. A wall of 9 by 7 meter square can be covered by 3 by 4 deciliter of paint so how many meter square can you paint with one deciliter uh, here uh, the total area of the wall is 9 by 7 meter square and uh, this wall can be covered by 3 by 4 deciliter of paint so you have to find out uh, if you have one deciliter paint, then how many meters square can you cover with this one deciliter paint? So here uh, uh, we can uh, solve this math as uh, you have to here uh, we have to divide nine by seven by three by four, then we have the result. So uh, let's do the math. Three by four decimeter paint covers. 9 by 7 meter square 1. Here we can write this term as 
3 by 4 deciliter paint covers 9 by 7 meter square wall. So we have, if we have 1 deciliter paint covers, how much? We have to divide 9 by 7 division 3 by 4 meter square wow so we have 9 by 7 and do division so we have to convert this fraction into its reciprocal and uh, change the division into multiplication then 4 by 3 so meter square wow uh, here now do multiplication uh, just divide 3 by 3 that is 1 and just divide 9 by 3 then we have 3 so uh, now we are out of multiplication so here uh, you have to multiply 3 by 4 that is 12 and uh, 7 by 1 that is 7 meter square one. Now look at this. This is an improper fraction. So you have to convert this into mixed fraction. If we divide 12 by 7, then we have 1 times 7 and we have 5. So the fraction is 5 by 7 meter square 1. That is the answer. Uh, next problem number eight. Number eight will be your home task. Uh, okay. Uh, no today. Uh, thank you everybody for watching this video.